What's up, Machine Freaks? Hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh to death. Today, we want to make this guy a little bit more froggy fresh with this stuff. This is Marvel Mystery Oil. I've used it in the past. Uh, I haven't done any, like, real scientific studies on it, like... Yeah, but what I mean by that is uh, using it and then really paying attention. And, uh, you know, we could get really advanced and use like a, a sound meter or uh, something along those lines to really compare scientifically and, and not just have our opinions. But I figure, you know, my opinion along with your opinions, we could get somewhere. So we're going to use this stuff. We're going to put it in, I guess, I thought you only put it in the crankcase, but I was reading it. And it says you can use it in fuel as well. So I figured if we use it in both the fuel and the oil that uh, we might be able to get somewhere. Before we go any further, this is a 1985 Yamaha uh, 225DX. We just fixed it. If you guys want to check out the process of taking this from zero to what it is now, not running and not you know moving to what it is now. Uh, then check out that those videos. You can go to my channel and whatever. Starts right up now. And we have a slight valve tip. I like how the headlight even works on that thing. That's crazy. Look at that. So the idle is slightly high, I haven't even rode this thing yet, I'm actually going to do that in a minute, but you can hear, there is a tip, and I'm going to take you around the other side so we can have some good comparisons. sounds like cold and then we got to warm it up that's going to be a different sound and then we'll just uh, add this thing to both the fuel and the crankcase we'll have to do some scientific studies here because as you can see we have to put a ratio in this thing we can't just dump it in there so before we die of carbon monoxide let's get to it so we're supposed to add anywhere from half an ounce to one ounce per gallon of gas in a four cycle engine. And that's what we're dealing with here. I would say, I would assume that this gas tank holds about one and a half, two gallons. I could be wrong. There could be ATC enthusiasts out there that absolutely know every single speck about this machine and would tell me exactly what this fuel tank would hold. However, I am not that person. Therefore, my assumption is one and a half to two gallons. Saying that, we're going to ballpark the ounces as well. It, uh, on the canister there, it says there's 32 ounces. It breaks it down into four ounce increments. So if two gallons would equal up to two ounces, we're going to put just around there, maybe slightly less. This guy's going to take all my gas. What a dirty girl. If you guys want to see the first time I ever ride this thing, make sure to stay tuned because I am going to kick the living crap out of this thing and I'm going to ride her hard because that's what she'd like. I take her for that kind of girl. Okay, we'll throw a little bit in there. What are we at? We got to be, see right here is 28 and then the beginning was uh, 32. We gotta go right in the middle of those two. I see right about there. Siri, I'm not talking to you. Go away. The lighting isn't good on that side, so I have to pull it around. Just wish I had more room for it too. change this oil I put 1.75 quarts in it somewhere around there 
and as long as it's on the dipstick where it's supposed to be, then I put the correct amount of oil in there. However, if it's slightly low or slightly above, then we have to make the assumption on the ratio between the oil and the Marble Mystery Oil. I hope you heard what I just said. But if you didn't, it's okay. So it's actually low right now, which actually might be okay because, I mean, it's in the okay zone. It's just uh, on the lower portion of the okay zone. So now I'm reading this. It says four ounces, or um, replace 20%. So, hey Siri, what's 20% of 1.75? Come on, you gotta be quicker than that. Hey Siri. What is 20% of 1.75? It's got to be like 33. 20% times 1.75 okay. is 0. 35, so 0.35. So now that I've done that, now i got to go ahead and look up what 0.35 of a quart is equal to in ounces. 0.35 quart. Uh, it looks like we're looking at 11.2 fluid ounces. So 11.2. We're currently at, what would you say, that, uh, that's at 30, 30 minus 11, it's 19, that's math, right? So we gotta go down to 19 on this guy, that's a lot of freaking fluid. But hey, if it fixed the tick, then that'll be sick. I rhyme for a good time. And we're at 20 ounces, I'm gonna call it there. We're supposed to go down to 19.8, but that's good enough for me. It's good enough for the girls I go out with. This is one of my girls. She's a little rough around the edges, but I hope she runs. So does it sound any different? Well, that's for you to decide. However, now I am going to look, I'm not even going to reveal my opinion because I haven't even watched the footage yet, so I can't give a comparison and I'm not going to just uh, use my prior experience to judge. So, saying that, you guys have a better understanding at this point than I do. What I'm going to do is now take this thing apart and find what's really um, causing this issue. Now you're probably asking me, Dalton, 3D machines, why the hell didn't you start with doing that? Well, the reason being is everybody else who's not a mechanic or doesn't have any mechanical abilities, uh, that's their go-to. They buy that, oil stabilizer, other things, and they hope and pray that it will fix it. 
And that's exactly what I wanted to happen. I didn't want to work on this thing either, even though I have some knowledge of, you know, working on stuff. So I don't know too much exactly about these engines, but it should be just like every other engine. Did a little bit of research, so I furthered my education. We're gonna tear this thing down. I'm gonna put it on TDC, top dead center. I'm gonna put the piston all the way up here on compression stroke. We're gonna check this valve time, this uh, chain uh, tensioner back here on this engine. Uh, supposedly that's a manual uh, thing we can adjust. Uh, I, I really only found like one Google image on that thing. I don't even know how it works, but we'll see once we get to it. And also um, check the, the valves or the uh, valve lash and uh, the rocker arms themselves. We're gonna take this guy off because I would imagine that that's the thing we have to see. Wow, it's on there. Try to see if this guy works. Taking the spark plug off here so I can figure out which one is TDC. I want to feel pressure on my thumb once I stick that over the hole. I can feel air coming out. Then we're going in the right direction here. Just running a little, little wretch. More fuel means more power. Now before you start thinking about uh, story time in the bedroom, I'm just going to stick my finger over this hole and watch for a mark. That's the right compression right there. I need a light. Now I can take the recoil off, or I could take this off. I think I'll take this off. Wow. We're gonna need this guy, but with a Phillips this time. I had no idea these things even existed a couple months ago, and here I've had one for years. I always wondered what the hell it was. Okay, now here's the question. Is this gonna... Okay, good. Stop that center right there. My research said that Yamaha's like to use five millimeters, so let's see if that's correct. It's kind of snot. Yep, yeah, that's right. Five mil. There's our first one, and then on this one, I think there's only two, and then I looked at the front, it looks like there's three. that noise snap you got slightly worn um, uh, bushings, rocker bushings, so it moves side to side. I'm pushing it that way and this way, left to right, and we have movement there. And then also, up and down, it doesn't feel too bad. It probably is in spec, because it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel sloppy, but that side to side motion is probably causing our noise. I 
love that noise. Snap. How much of a problem is that gonna be? Okay, that comes right off, sweet. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I can't really get you guys any closer, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna push the, the rocker arm itself that way and then this way, left and right, to see. Yeah, it's got it's got play like that. But this one goes up and down more, so we're probably not in spec there. So here's the situation. These are feeler gauges. On this machine, what I found online, this machine is hard to find any info on. Uh, we got uh, anywhere from three to four thousandths on the intake and then four to five thousandths on the exhaust. The intake is good. Uh, I checked that by putting in between the uh, valve in between the the top of the valve there and the bottom of this right in uh, that vicinity right down in there and it passed uh, the spec there and then also on the front it passed the spec so you guys the the consensus of this whole video is that the Marvel mystery didn't fix our specific issue granted we've only put 25 minutes of hard riding on this thing a total of I would say 35 to 40 minutes of uh, idle time uh, or idle and um, Ride time 40 minutes just total, you know bouncing back and forth and riding an idle and uh, So far it hasn't done anything like huge in my opinion. Maybe the sound is slightly different I haven't watched the footage like I said, but I would I would conclude that we have uh, slightly worn out rocker bushings, rocker arm bushings, and that's what's calling causing our tick on our engine. Let's check this tensioner thing out. See if we can't educate ourselves. So it looks like that just comes off. No, so that's a cover, and then we have that head. Okay. So let's just go in a little bit and see if we can't kind of feel what's going on in there. Loosen that up, I'm assuming. Okay. Loosen that up. We'll tighten this guy up. I'd say that is a quarter turn from where we started. Wouldn't you? Maybe a little bit more right there. Try that. Let's see if it sounds any better. seems that adjusting that tensioner didn't really solve any of our noise it in my opinion continues to come from the rocker arms themselves so if you guys want to try out marvel mystery or you guys have used marvel mystery in the in the past and you guys have some experience leave that in the comment section below i like reading constructive stuff knowledgeable stuff entertaining stuff all that horse crap you can just keep that off that, that gets in my way and it gets in educated people's ways. So stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. I'm gonna put this thing back together and we're gonna continue to rock it with a little bit of tick because that's what makes this thing sick. See you guys later.